We're here at Times Square, We're going to meet the heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder. He's held the title for a year. I don't think enough people know how good he is. I don't think enough people know who he is. He hasn't really entered into the public consciousness yet. I'd like to see that happen. The Klitschko defeat throws everything up in the air. I have to think that Deontay himself is a little bit regretful that he didn't get to kick Klitschko's ass first. Good. Oh, oh, Welcome to my city. All right, man. What's going on, man? How are you? Been good, been good, been good. <laughs> You ever been here before? I've been here, yeah, many times. Many times. You like New York? I, you know, I, I, I like to come and visit. But at the same time, it, it's too crowded for me. This ain't country, me. man. Yeah, it's too crowded for me, man. Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? Well, it's, it's good what do you mean, who is he? I don't know. You know who this is? He doesn't play for Detroit Rappers, I don't know. He's <laughs> a heavyweight champion of the world. So am I. This is Deontay Wilder. Yeah, you are, ah. too. Take yeah, the music, man. Yeah. You want music? I'll yeah, give you some. I make it myself. Oh, all right. Doing all right? Boxing, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. What's your name? So it's a love box. Come on, champ. Who do you got to beat up now to get all these people to love you, to know who you are? Man, I think unifying the titles, man. That, I, I, I really feel once we got that strong American heavyweight to unify the division, to have all the titles, that's when I feel that, that true starting will come. Don't you want to be able to walk down that boulevard and everyone scream your name, Deontay? I mean, it's when you think about it, when you hear it, even when you when I sit here and imagine, imagine it, it'll be a great feeling. It sounds good, but that's not the desire of my heart. It really is not. I want to build my legacy. When it's all over for me, I can't carry those people with me. So I, I can't really dwell on, dwell on who knows me, who, who's not, if I can walk down those streets, people recognize me or not, you know. Once I unify the division, I think it'll be a, a dramatic change. What performance are you most proud of? I mean, of course, gaining my belt, being Burn, Mr. Burn. Gaining my belt. Not, one not time just, you didn't knock anyone out. One time I didn't knock anyone out, but I still gained something because I proved to the world I can go 12 rounds. I proved to the world that I could take a punch. I proved to the world that I can be a box, I can fight, you know? And, and it, that fight was so, great to me because I promised my daughter that I'd be a champion. What did Naya say to you when you brought home the belt? When I brought the belt, she said, Daddy, I'm proud of you. And you know, sometimes we tell our children that we're proud of them. But to, to hear my daughter tell me that, you know, it was a different, I, I had emotional feelings about that. How much of a better fighter are you today than before you fought Berman Stavern for the title? Oh, my God. I'm 10 times better. 10 times better. Let's go through some of the guys in the division here. You think that there's something in Povetkin that he's scared of you? I think so. Why? What makes you say that? I'm just different. My athleticism, the way I'm able to move in the ring, the way my, my speed, the power that I have, the awkward style that I have. Need I say more? I'm just a different fighter than, the, the, than these guys in the heavyweight division. A lot of people want to base everything about size and stuff like that. And I tell people all the time, I'd rather be the part than look for. Tell me about Tyson Fury. He's a, just a tall guy, don't have no power, you know, like to act a fool in the ring, which I like to do. I like to as well, you know, I like to have fun. He have fun in the ring, but I knocks him out. In October, Tyson Fury said of you, I don't think the fight's gonna happen, and it's because he's afraid. I offered him to fight me. I offered him to be my first guy that I defend my title against. Maybe they forgot about that. No, I remember, after you beating Stavern, the talk was that you were going to fight Tyson Fury. So I always wondered what happened to that fight. That's right, they wasn't ready. They, they didn't want that fight. They wanted Klitschko. Different tune after Fury won the title. He said, why do we have to mention Deontay Wilder? Let's have a laugh at his name, shall we? You laughing? It's not a laughing matter. If Deontay Wilder wants a unification fight, he's going to have to wait. Nobody wants to fight. 
You already know what the results is going to be. These guys know I'm very serious about this. When I speak about it, I feel it inside of me. So let me go back to picking a fight with you and Tyson Fury. He says you're a basketball player. I can be a tennis player, a golf player, or even a soccer player. When it come down to getting into that ring or that night of that fight, all that goes out the window of what kind of player I am. Calls you a novice. Hey, I'm the heavyweight champ of the world. Who do you think would be most likely to fight you, Tyson or Klitschko? I think Tyson. I think Tyson. You know, even though he talks a lot, you know, but uh, I think he'll fight. I'll go to London for that one. I'll go, in his, I'll go in his territory for that one. You don't think that one's going to the judges then, do you? It's not going to go to the judges. It seems to me like there are too many guys who want too many titles and too few guys who are willing to actually fight for them. <laughs> Most guys, you know, they, they want the easy way out, you know. I don't really feel that they want one guy to have all their belt. Spilka did a year and a half in prison. Scared yet? For what? <laughs> Soccer brawl. Yeah. They take their soccer seriously. Most definitely. Do you need to knock out Spilka? Of course I need to knock Spilka out. I need to knock whoever get in that ring out. I don't have to, I don't feel like I have to prove that I can go into more rounds, you know? With anybody, I don't, I don't care who they are. My goal is to knock whoever's standing in front of me. When you're in that moment, that place in the ring, you're not a nice guy anymore. Not only do the person I am on the outside change, but the person on the inside, the feeling that I have in the inside, it, it changed too. What is it? Who is it? It's, it's a feeling that I cannot describe. You know, I try to find words. I try to take my, my mind away and describe. Even, even when we talk about the fight, I feel it. I feel them right now, you know? Are you ever scared you're going to hurt someone in the ring? Sometimes. Sometimes, I, you know, that's when I go back. Um, I have two prayers. I have a team prayer and I have an ind individual prayer. And my individual prayer going in the line of, Lord, I want to knock him out, but I don't want to hurt him to the point where he can't go back to his family or to his kids. We talked about Alabama. And, and you know that there is a very special way that the people of Alabama feel about the Crimson Tide. Mm -hmm. What can you do to make people in this country feel that way about Deontay Wilder as their heavyweight champ? Just keep fighting. Sooner or later, the sun will break. Keep fighting, keep winning, keep knocking people out. You know, I can't, when, once you keep doing those things, you can't get denied, no matter what. Don't miss Wilder versus Spielka. Live Saturday, January 16th at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific on Showtime.